What's up guys, Melvin from HairTransplantNetwork.com. Exciting news, today we're going to be talking about the update with Dr. Barguthi on vertiporfin. Let's get right into it. All right, so what is vertiporfin? I'm going to briefly get into it, guys, but I'm also going to link a couple of videos in the description if you guys want a little bit more in-depth detail about what the drug treatment is. So basically what vertiporfin is, is a drug that prevents wound generation. So it, pre it prevents a pathway that has been shown in clinical studies to regenerate hair and prevent scarring. Uh, Dr. Barguthi is the first doctor to actually do a human clinical trial. Since then, there's Dr. Bloxham. Uh, I believe Dr. Safi was doing a trial, but I haven't heard anything about that in quite some time. But so far, the results have been pretty significant, especially Dr. Barguthi's. This is his 18-month results. Now, he tried a couple of different concentrations, uh, 0 0.24, and also 0 0.4, which was in the study. So far, the 0 0.24 seems to be the least impressive. 0 0.4 is significantly more impressive. There is a big difference between the 0 0.4 control area versus the 0 0.4 test area. I think you guys will agree that there is some hair. Uh, there needs to be more studies. I've reached out to several doctors, but the big problem we're having right now is sourcing it. Uh, Dr. Patella agreed to do a trial, um, but he hasn't been able to source it. Uh, I've been in communication with a couple of guys on the Hair Restoration Network, and we're trying to get him uh, a bottle of that. I'm also going to be going next year to the ISHRS conference, and I'm going to really try to get more doctors on board with this. But hopefully, the next trial is going to start uh, either this year or the beginning of next year with Dr. Barguthi, and I'm going to keep you guys updated. But if you want the latest news, Go and check out the vertiporfin thread on the Hair Restoration Network. The link is in the description. What does this mean for us hair loss sufferers? If vertiporfin actually can regenerate your hair, this means unlimited donor. This means you can have 15,000 grafts, 20,000 grafts, and you can restore your hair back to how it was when you were a teenager. Uh, it, it would be huge. Now, keep in mind, the cost is something you'd have to be able to afford it, but theoretically, this would be a hair loss cure. Very excited, guys. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. I'm going to be keeping you guys up to date on all of the new developments, um, not only with vertiporfin, but Cosme RNA, HMI 115, all of the pipeline drugs. I have big, exciting things in the pipeline uh, with the podcast, so be sure to check it out. All right, till next time.